If you want to be able to talk to hot women and high value men, then you should never try to prove your worth in conversation. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining why trying to qualify to people like this is a bad strategy that actually pushes them away, as well as what you should be doing to attract people like this into your life. Let's just say someone was like, you're too short or you're too broke or you're too blank. And then you then try to like prove to them as to why you're not that thing. I'm trying to prove to the person that I actually am qualified for the category. It's like a job and I'm like trying to prove why I'm qualified for the job. When it comes to dating, you don't want to actually prove yourself because that's actually a low status thing. Imagine a dude who was truly, truly confident that he knew he could destroy the fucking job. And they ask him like, are you good enough for the job? He would probably sit there with like a little bit of a cocky smirk on his face and borderline almost laugh at the person. Like me his mentality would be like, uh, are you fucking serious? Like, do you know who I am? Like, have you, you saw my, you, you saw my resume, right? Like that's almost what like the vibe and underlying tone would be. He's actually not qualifying himself because he knows he's truly a good fit for the position, if not maybe even overly qualified for the position. It's people that are weak or insecure, low confidence level that feel the need to give an, an over justification as to why they're okay with it. It's almost like, like imagine like a super weak, needy boyfriend almost, like constantly like checking in to see if like the girl still loves him. Almost because he feels inadequate of the position, so he starts to doubt the other person's perspective on that thing. It's all sales at the end of the day. It's all high status communication and, and people that are very high status, they don't qualify. If anything, they actually disqualify. They disqualify and that's why I say one of the most powerful techniques you could do if you're talking to a really hot girl or even a person of high status is actually disqualify. You tease, you challenge, you playfully push away, you break rapport. Because by doing that, it actually psychologically triggers that it's not a big deal to me. I've been in this position before. If anything, I'm not like thirsty or needy or even doubting my position in this category, whatever it may be regarding like a social hierarchy. So be aware of this when you're talking to your friends. It, it also goes into tonalities too, guys, like seeking rapport tonality is implying like I'm trying to build rapport with you. I'm seeking the rapport in my voice. Like when two girls come together, like, their voices go real, oh my God, girl. They, they, get, they try to like naturally do that. They seek the rapport in the tonality to look for acceptance amongst the social hierarchy. That's what seeking rapport is. That's why when we say talking down is like a breaking rapport tonality, okay? Same thing that qualifying is trying to prove, trying to seek approval. Right? So breaking rapport, it comes in your tonality, it comes in the words you say, it's the frames that you're, you're presenting in an interaction. Like a dude that gets overly emotional about a lot of things, especially when it's a girl testing him or if it's a girl giving him shit, he gets overly emotional or he gets emotionally reactive. It's because it's a big deal. Are you starting to see how all of these things are going hand in hand and why I teach these concepts? Because it's the same thing when we're talking about social dynamics with women. If you guys want help with this personally, you can click the link in the description, fill out an application to work with me directly. So the more you can understand these concepts, the more you can start to analyze your interactions, or if you ever are in conversations with high status people, guys, high status people, like I was at a mastermind not, not too, too long ago, and the main instructor of the mastermind, he split us all up into groups. And so we broke off into a smaller group and he came over to join the group. But we were in a really tight corner where there was chairs like stacked in a, in a circle. And so there really wasn't room for him to actually kind of come in unless we were about to move out. And as he came over, I saw that the other dude was moving his chair over and me as a joke, and I wasn't thinking like tactically in these moments, just kind of like, I've just learned to naturally embody a lot of these characteristics as I get further and further into my journey. But as he was coming over, I was like, I said, I said, no, Jason, there's no room for you at this circle. And the whole group actually bursted out laughing. And obviously he didn't walk away, but it was a playful joke that was breaking rapport because he's the instructor of the whole place. Obviously he's coming over to give us like guidance and value, but also nobody's really doing that to a dude of the highest status in the social, in the social hierarchy. Same reason I'm telling you with the hottest girls, you need to shut them down. They're, they're gonna give you that indicator of interest if you're playing this right off rip and you're displaying high status, the girl may throw out an indicator of interest. 
And it's actually in that moment, the best thing that you really could do up front is actually shut down the indicator of interest and break rapport and disqualify or tease or challenge or push away in those moments. Because I'm telling you, dude, they, they just don't experience that shit. And, and just to tie this back into the story that I was just telling you, lo and behold, at that fucking event, at some point, we, we went on lunch break. And I, I stayed back because I was putting some stuff together. He came up to me and he said, hey, a couple of us are going to be going out to lunch if you want to join us for lunch. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> so then me and like two or three other people actually went to an exclusive, like a late lunch where we got to sit down with the head guy of the mastermind and just kind of hang out, which was like, I, th I thought that was super cool. I wasn't even expecting to have that kind of like one-on-one -on -one time to be able to talk to him, let alone get a, a whole dinner with him. And I would honestly contribute that partially not only because of that one technique, but it's partially because of the way that I present myself. It's the, it's my communication, it's my vibe, it's my confidence. Also due to the fact that I'm willing to break rapport, that I'm willing to tease, that I'm willing to not seek rapport because if I'm super fanboy, and I've seen this in myself, I see guys that come up to me and they're super fanboy, they're seeking rapport, they're like all the way on this one side, and then I have other dudes that come up to me and they still thank me from time to time, but they're just cool dudes, it's not a big deal, they're not seeking rapport, or they're not overly qualifying themselves. They're just calm, chill, and relaxed. And those people, for the most part, they end up actually becoming my boys. And it's the same fucking dynamics when you're, when you're networking with high people or when you're interacting with a really hot girl. If a girl has low interest in you and you were to ask her a question, a qualifying question or a get to know you question, girls that don't see value in you, that have low levels of attraction towards you, that are just genuinely not interested in you, they're not gonna start to qualify themselves. You only qualify yourself typically when you when you see value in the other person. If a homeless dude came up to you and he started trying to ask you questions, there's zero value in this in this dude. If he asked you, what do you have going for you? What's special about you? You would say, nothing dude, I'm busy. If you were to go up to a hot girl uh, off rip, you try to say that to her, she's gonna be like, um, who the fuck are you? And get the fuck out of here. Or she's gonna say, nothing, bye. Get the fuck away from me. Why is that? Because she sees no value in you. Now, let's just say Mark Cuban just pulled up in a Lambo, gets out, he's got the suit on, and he says, hey, who are you? You'd be like, I'm Kyle. He's like, oh, oh, dude, actually, I gotta get going, but dude, I was just curious, like, and he just asked you a question, a qualifying question, right? Some people, actually, they wouldn't even need the high value dude to, to ask them a qualifying question. And this is the equivalent of what a lot of you dudes do with hot girls. Or if you meet a celebrity, oh my God, Lil Wayne, J. Cole, I'm your biggest fan. Your music's so fucking amazing. I listen to it all the time. Look, you just started ranting. You just started qualifying about praising them, pedestalizing them, and talking about how much you like them. You do that same thing with the hot girl. The way you act, the way your voice changes, the behaviors, the mannerisms, the eye contact, the, the low status communication, the words that you say, the seeking rapport, the qualifying, the panic attack you have when she says a negative thing to you, or how reactive you are emotionally when she gives you the indicator of interest and you you start to melt into that compliment. You, you start to blush, you start to smile so much, not knowing that your dumbass actually just indicated to her that <laughs> she has you by a fucking string, bro. That's why I said earlier in this, it's actually better if you shut down the indicator of interest. Initially, the hot girl gave you a compliment. I love your tattoos. The old pickup terminology was like, hey baby, hands off the merchandise. This shit ain't for free. Super gamey line. I'm just giving you analogies and I think these are very easy to, to digest. But the reality is, is that initially, if the, if the girl actually did give you a compliment, I'm not saying you need to dismiss it and be like, fuck off, honey. No, you don't say something like that. But dude, just don't be so emotionally reactive or phased at the fact that she gave you, that she's showing you genuine interest. You need to act like you've been there before, dude. That's the way you're gonna actually get the woman attracted to you. So if you guys want help with this, again, click the link in the description, fill out an application to work with me personally. That's all for this video. Peace out.